Hey, I'm Nathan Tabor. I hope you're doing well today. Got a question for you. Is God your ATM? Is that how you look at God? You run over when you need something? You need help resolving a problem or you need financial help or physical health, whatever it may be. You just trot over and put your card in and put your pen in and, hey, God, this is what I need. Is that how you perceive God? Is that your relationship with? You know, here's what an ATM looks like. We all know what they look like. Is this your picture of God? Several years ago, that was my perception of God. I treated God as my ATM. When I needed something, I ran to God. I asked for, requested, sometimes demanded even, that this is what I needed. And when I didn't get the answer that I wanted, or I didn't get what all that I needed, I went back again. And it really is a warped perception about how God works and how I, I mean, for me, it was really bizarre when I look back now, how my relationship had become so twisted. So I want to ask you, is that how you perceive God? You know, it comes down to really, you know, the thought, why isn't God giving me what I want? I'm praying for it. I'm asking him to do it. Why isn't he? Well, think of it this way. When you go to your ATM and you put your card in and you put your PIN number in and you request money, what has to happen before that? What's the process? Somehow you've gotten money, most likely through a job. So you go and you work your job, you get a paycheck, you take that money and you put it into your bank account. That bank account is then tied to your debit card. Your debit card then allows you to access the ATM. And then you get your money. What about our relationship with God? You know, looking back over my life, I skipped all the parts of the work, you know, reading God's Word, the prayer life, making the deposit, doing the things they should, the way they should be done, showing the love of Christ to, other at all, uh, to others at all times, being a light, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I skipped all the parts except the one that I wanted. I wanted to get the money. I wanted to get the blessings. I wanted to get the help from God, but I hadn't done the other stuff. So when it really came down to it, 100% of the reason I wasn't getting what I wanted from God came down to me. It was my fault. So what I want to challenge you on is that where you are. Is that where your relationship with God is? Is you, you're frustrated and you're bitter and you're confused. You know, God, I'm coming to you and I'm praying for this and I have this struggle. You know, why isn't God helping me out? Well, just because you run to God, just because you take an issue to God and you ask for a resolution and you pray for it, doesn't mean that he's going to answer your prayer the way you want it answered. But that was a shocker for me when I figured that out. Just because I prayed for something didn't mean God was going to do it for me. James 4, 3 says this, You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. Wow, that's pretty point blank there, right? I mean, James says God's not going to give us stuff that doesn't bring us closer to him. He's not going to give us things that draw us away from him, things that we just want, pleasures that we want. He's not going to do that. So if you're not getting answers to your prayers, if you're not getting out of God what you think you should be getting, ask yourself, are you treating God like an ATM? Are you just assuming because you are a Christian or because you're praying or because you've asked for it that therefore God should give it to you? Think about this in closing. 1 John 5, 14 says, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. There's that one little phrase in there. 
according to his will. So if we're not getting what we want from God, it could could be one of two things, in my opinion. It could be that God wants us to be patient. It's not the time for us to have that in our life. The other is, it might not ever be the time. I know looking back over my prayer life and my request, there were a lot of things I asked of God that were not His will for my life. That's why I didn't get them. That's why He didn't allow them. And honestly, I'm thankful at this point that He didn't because it was just pulling me further away from Him. So I want to I want to challenge you on this. I want you to really dig in deep. Are you treating God like an ATM? Are you frustrated? Are you hurting your relationship with God and with others because you don't believe God's answering your prayers? He might not be answering your prayers because it's the best thing for you. So, What do you do about that? How do you figure out what you should be doing? Get in God's Word. Develop a relationship with Him. Get to know Him. Develop your prayer life. Get to know God. Get to know who He is. As we get to know Him better, as we give more of our life to Him, more control to Him, as 1 John says, we will be given what we need according to his will. You know what's funny in my life? What changed? What has changed in my prayer life? As closer I get to God, I don't pray for the frivolous things that I used to pray for because now I'm more focused on what brings me closer to him, what brings me that joy to find in James. So if you don't like where you are, if you don't like your relationship with God, you don't like going to the ATM and not getting thing out, anything out? Really look at where are you with God and are you treating him like an ATM? Thanks. Hey, I, look, I hope you have a very blessed day. I hope you will share this with someone that could benefit for it. And please don't hesitate to let me know if I can help you in any way.